Sunny. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Yeah, I'm great. Uh, we, I have decided to invite you because um, we've been having a lot of rumors coming from the students about the PTE changes. So we just wanted to discuss with you because, um, as we all know, you are one of the experts when it comes to PTE tutoring. You've been doing this for a few years now, and uh, I thought it would be the best to ask you to join this discussion. Um, and uh, let's just have a look at a few things that students brought up okay and, sounds good um, yeah so um, the first thing that we want to look at will be um, the right from dictation so in, in the past we were able to add extra words if we were not sure about the word so if it's plural or if it's singular or the tense of the verb so we were adding extra words and a lot of students were doing that and it was fine but then lately many were saying that it was not working anymore so can you share more about this with with everyone yeah i actually did the uh the test on saturday and as you can see my background is not the same oh i don't even know people know but um it's not the same right now because i actually took the exam in Vietnam on my holiday yeah. right now. And Ooh. I took the test in Vietnam. Um, and I specifically tested that technique because yeah. like I said, uh, like you said, some people yeah. are experiencing that it's not working. So yes. um, it's sad to say it, it based on the results. I don't know if I shared it with you, but um, yes. if you have it there, I, based yeah, on the I results. Just yeah. I just, it, I just open it now. Yeah. Okay. It so seems like it. it didn't work. Um, but I don't want people to panic right away thinking that, um, that um, you know, it's never going to work or it's, it doesn't work at all. If you see here, if you notice the, um, the writing score, it's at 80, right? Mm -hmm. The listing is at 78. Now, here's the indication where um, the right from dictation is the reason why I got the low listing in writing. Um, because... The, the skills profile, sorry, below, you know, I, I forgot to share that with you. But, you know, when you get the score, the skills profile, mm, mm, mm. it showed that the um, the writing were, they were actually nearly perfect. Mm. Okay, I think um, the, the, sh the extended writing, the, the short writing, they were almost perfect. So that means I got most of the points, if not all of the points for the writing tasks. Yeah. Right. Summarized written text, spoken text and the essay. And then you see how I got 90 in the reading. That, yeah. that's, the sum, that's the reading and writing filling the blanks there. Mm, right? That's right. So now we're just left with the listening filling the blanks and write from dictation. Mm. And I know the listening filling the blanks was done perfectly because there's mm. not one word that I couldn't spell. I knew all of the answers. Mm. Even write from dictation, I know I got them all perfect as well because they're all mm. short sentences and they actually were repeated questions. I have those mm. on, on, on my platform and you, I'm sure, mm. sure you have it too. Um, so that's where I took each sentence. It did a lot of um, doubling of the words just, mm. just, to, just to test it. I doubled so many words in there. Mm. And as you can see, I didn't really get an yeah. a, a, a extra high score. I got a damn near failing score for the writing. Hmm. So you just wrote you just wrote alternative for every single word. Not for everyone, example, but almost like at least uh, almost. half the sentence or more than half of the sentence. So do you remember the questions that you got? I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. yeah. So let's let, let's just say that if you got a sentence, um, um, okay, the students were instructed to submit the paper by next Friday. I, then you I think I did get something like that. <laughs> 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 okay, yeah. so so in, in in that in that case, you'll probably add um, the students students to like students single and the students plural. Yeah, uh, is are. Yeah, is are like so a lot of alternatives. Yeah, at, at yeah. least more than five, five or more. At least, I was, yeah, I, I would believe, I would say that I, I did nothing less than five words per sentence. We should be very careful when adding uh, alternatives. So I always say to students to try to add maximum three, so one to three. Don't try to add too many because I, I know that sometimes you you feel like you're, you're panicking and you don't know which one, uh, which word is the most suitable. Yeah. But then just be careful when adding extra words. That would probably be safer. Of course, I'm going to um, test it again just to confirm because one experiment is never enough to be conclusive. Mm -hmm. But if this is just a sign where, OK, it might not be working. And then, of course, when I get back to um, Sydney, I will go back and, and test it again. If it comes back the same way. Yeah, I'm going to 
make sure we don't do that. <laughs> how many how many PTE experiments you have done so far in the last few years? Oh, in the last the... Uh, oh wow, um, it's at least twenty times. But I know because I'm oh, November. We had the the change. We did videos about that. We talked about the change in last November. Um, it's been 10 times since that, uh, no, since wow. November. Yeah. I, I, I joke around, but it's like the more times we take the test, the, hopefully that, that means the fewer times our students need to take the test yeah. because they will have the best information, the, um, the most up-to-date information. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Sonny. Thank you so no, no, no. much. You do the same for thing. What are you talking input. about? <laughs> thank you, for, thank you, Sonny, for all input. Please make sure to follow Sonny on Instagram. He always uploads so many interesting experiments and tips so that you can learn um, more about PT preparation. Um, anyways, let's move to the next rumor that students were sharing. Um, so lately, I came across um, a table of marking distribution that students were sharing publicly. Uh, let me just share with you. So if you look at this table here, yeah, from okay. um, I believe it's from Ebony, um, and I've I've seen it in in a lot of PTE groups, and even students were sharing between each other, and they were a bit concerned that um, the the scoring for writing have been changed significantly because if you look at um, summarized spoken text mm -hmm. and also summarized written text. Um, based on this table, you only get 6% of the writing task for, yeah, of the writing section for these two tasks. Um, while in essay writing, it's 17%. That's a lot. That's a yeah, lot for the and essay. And then filling the blanks, reading and writing, 25% here, and recommendation is 28%. So I, I, I kind of agree that, yes, we get a lot of points for writing from filling the blanks, reading and writing and from writing dictation. But what concerns me um, is the summarized written text 6% and summarized spoken text also 6%, which is less important than essay writing. And um, many were saying that it doesn't mean that we don't have to um, study hard for Summarize written text and summarize spoken text anymore and focus more on essay writing instead. Can you yeah. share your opinion, Sunny? What do you think about this? That's that's almost opposite of what I believe the scoring is for the writing. Um, mm -hmm. Now, I don't, I myself don't give percentages because it's really hard to calculate. If I've sent you like the experiments that I have done out of those 10 tests um, after November and the, the writing score fluctuates. And um, I agree that the reading, reading, writing, fill in blanks, listen, mm -hmm. fill in blanks, write from dictation, carry majority of the writing score. But for the essay to carry 17%, that, that I have not seen any patterns to show that. Because if you have the essay at 17%, what you're going to see um, in, on score reports from mm -hmm. students is for people that don't do well in the essay, writing. you're going to have high listening, high reading, high speaking, and low writing. Like that is something you don't see from people, right? Where they pass mm -hmm. everything and then they mm -hmm. have a low writing score because only mm -hmm. the essay can do that. Mm -hmm. And usually if you have high reading, high listening, your writing is high mm -hmm. because the summarized written text affects listening. I'm sorry. Yeah. Summarized written text affects reading. reading. Summarized spoken text affects listening. listening. And then the listening affects the writing. The That's essay right. just affects the essay. That's so right. I don't think... It's I, in my opinion, I don't think a seventeen percent is too high, mm. and and again to get six percent, I don't yes. know how to get a six percent mark because if you take the exam and you take and you only do the summarized spoken text and the summarized written, no, you can't actually do two. You can only mm. do one. If you only take the test and take and and just write the summarized written text, you're not going to mm. see a score of six. You're going to see a mm. score of 10, mm. right? So I don't understand how we get a percentage of less than 10 because anything mm. less than 10 points, you don't see a score. Mm. Yeah, so I'm, I'm confused yeah. on how this, this came about. You can see here that summarized written text, the number of points if um, you put, um, you accumulate all the points together will be uh, one plus one here, two, yeah, four, 
and then six, and then eight. So you get eight points for one summarized written text. But normally in the exam, you will get two summarized written text. It depends, but mo most likely you get two. So it should be, if you get two, then it's 16 points, right? And then if you look at essay writing, it's three plus two, five, and then seven, nine, 11, 13, and 15. So 15 points for essay writing. Yeah, 15 points for essay writing and 16 points for summarized written text. So it means that uh, so if you get two summarized written text, then it, it will be more important than an essay. Right. Knock on wood. No. I've never gotten two essays before. Yeah. Yeah. S same. Yeah. Same. <laughs> right. But I think maybe in the past, like long time ago, but um, a yeah. few years ago, but yeah. normally, no. For me, uh, yeah, I have never, only on the mock test, which is yeah. always two essays. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. And and if you look at the summarized spoken text here, yeah, uh -huh. uh, yeah if you put all the points together, two plus two, four, and then six, uh, eight, ten, yeah, ten points. So summarized spoken text, 10 points, and then summarized written text here, it's like uh, one task is eight points. So that, that's why if you look at the table, the, the table from AAP Uni, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I don't know how they got the it. Points. Maybe they can share yeah. their score. I, I don't know if they will, but if they shared yeah. the, how they did that, um, <clears throat> how they came up with that number, I mean, it would mm. it'll make more sense. I mean, nothing's impossible, but where's the data like that's why yeah. i take these tests and i show the data because i don't work for pte i have no affiliation with pte so the only mm. way to understand the scoring is by taking the test mm. based on experiments even our trainers have been doing a lot of experiments with the real tests in in vietnam yeah. and this is something that we came up with which we have been following um and um based on our table mm -hmm. we also got uh 28 for reference dictation yeah, that sounds right. For writing, yeah, and then um, for fill in the blanks, reading and writing is twenty one percent. It's also one of the most important tasks. Uh, I'm not saying that this table is one hundred percent correct, but it's just based on yeah, the, yeah, a lot of experiments that we've been taking. Yeah. And for summarized written text and essay writing, if you get two summarized written text, then it's twelve percent, and essay is thirteen percent. But um, this is again based on actually two essays. If it's two essays, mm -hmm. but but for for one essay, I, I believe it will be less because I always think that essay writing is not as important. If you look at one of my experiment on YouTube um, with Pearson mock test, where I skipped two essays, but I still got eighty nine in writing. <laughs> I skipped two essays, so I didn't do any writer uh, any any essays. That's um, really and then yeah, and some some rice spoken text is seventeen percent. Uh -huh. um 17 percent for for writing what what you brought up is something that I, I i tell students where i would say no matter the distribution of points if yeah. a task will affect more than one module mm -hmm. it's important yeah. right so someone i spoke in text affects the writing and the listening yes you want points right. on both so right. where the essay the essay only affects the writing yes. and i have actually gotten over 79 as well yeah. Um, with a zero in the essay, but that was not intentional. I didn't skip it for some reason. They just gave me a zero for the essay writing, but I still yeah. got over 79. Yeah. So I would still say, um, yeah. tasks that are, that are affecting more than one module. You got to make sure you spend time mm. focusing. Yeah. Improving Correct. those. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So in, instead of worrying, um, cause like some students told me, oh, so now I don't have to work on some rice for context anymore. But I think instead of worrying, oh, which tasks are more important? Um, the funny thing was I wanted to compare, if, if, I don't know if you have it, but I wanted to compare the, um, the scores that I would get based on using the linking technique and templates for summary writing and um, versus me just writing it by myself using English, right? I've been yeah. an English teacher for over 10 years and teaching PT for all these years. I, I think I can write a good paragraph, a summary, right? Um, I got lower points. I got more points by using templates, which is just, a, you yeah. know, you know how templates work. Like, yeah. I got more points with using templates and I got fewer points when I wrote it by myself. Even the essay, I wrote the entire essay by <laughs> myself and they gave oh, me gosh. lower points. Yeah. We don't know how PT works. That's why we got to do experiments. <laughs> yeah. So, so since you mentioned um, templates, let's go to the third point that okay. students have been asking me. So, um, so,
So some students ask, can I still use um, templates for speaking and writing or will I lose marks? Um, so that, that's something I experiment. I always test that. Like once a month, I'll test that for my students. Yeah. <clears throat> However, we always want to improve and make things a little bit easier. So on the last Saturday, when I, what I did was I tried a speaking template I have never used before. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it didn't work. That's why it you see the work. speaking score. If you show yeah. the score again that I had, that's, oh, okay. this that is an indication sense. of where the um, speaking score was affected by the templates. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's a little bit concerning for me. So when I get back, I'm going to retest the ways that we have already done it in the past. Things that I know was working. And yeah, for after November, templates were working fine for speaking. Yeah. All right. And um, it was just because this Saturday, I decided to try something that would make speaking even easier for my students. And mm -hmm. um, it didn't work here. How, how do we know it didn't work? Well, because the, the reading itself is 90. What do I yeah. get? How, you can't get 90 if you don't do well and read aloud. Exactly. So read aloud, I got the points. And then yeah. I said in the listening 78, I, I'm pretty sure I missed most of those listening points from the right from dictation, mm -hmm. not from the speaking. That's okay. Because right. the, where are the writing points? I'm not getting writing from speaking. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So if I'm missing most of the listening from the right from dictation, mm -hmm. then that means I got the repeat sentence as well. Yeah. Right. So then how do I get 65 in speaking? I'm 75. Sorry, 75 in speaking. That leaves us with the um, describe image and retail lecture. Mm -hmm. And inside the skills profile, it also shows my extended speaking was not good. And extended mm -hmm. speaking is the describe image. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So so this is the yeah. concerning part, because although it's a template I have never used before, I have never actually had a problem with any type of template. Usually when I yeah. go try a new template, it always works. Yeah. This is the first time when I it actually didn't work. Oh, wow. So, so I'm going to go okay. back and try something that has always worked and yes. then see if that makes a difference. Yeah. yeah. So we, we also have our own templates that we share yeah. with the students. And yeah. um, so even like lately, um, students were going to the exams and then they were getting 90 or like above 80s yeah. using the template. So I, I still do believe the templates work. I believe so too. Yeah. yeah. I just don't know why this time the new one didn't work. But I believe yeah. even today, this morning, um, someone, someone sent me a message. I forgot um, her name. I don't, I don't even know if she wants me to say her name, but she's yeah. not my student. She watched YouTube videos and I have okay. an older version of a speaking template on there. Yeah. And she said, Hey, look, I use everything you taught on YouTube and um, it worked. And she yeah. got, I didn't get a chance to reply, but I think she got all 90. Yeah. So wow. speaking, obviously, uh, it, if she used that on YouTube, yeah. it, it seems like it's working. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and I think for, for essay writing in particular, uh -huh. I've seen some templates where students will only need to insert one or two words. Uh -huh. And uh, I'm a bit skeptical about those kind of templates. And I do, re <laughs> I do recommend still using your own keywords because in, in the writing essay for, for the scoring, if your content, yeah, content is equal zero. So if you don't get enough keywords, mm -hmm. then the whole task will be zero. So it's very, yeah, it's, it's a bit risky if you don't include enough keywords. in. I have noticed that. Essay. I have noticed that like in the past, you can write what I've tried in the past was pretty much just garbage. I wrote garbage into the essay. You still get a 90 in a written discourse. Mm. Um, now, no. Yeah. It, no. The essay is, is more strict than the scoring now. So mm. content will matter um, more mm. than before. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I myself never tried that technique that you've mentioned. Um, yeah. So I, I always tell my students, if you want to try something that I have never tested myself, make sure somebody else has, a, has already tested it and gotten a score with it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't ever be the first to, to, to test yeah. a template. That's right. <laughs> that's our that's job, right. not, the, not the student's job. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah so, uh, yeah. So sometimes I, I have students who, um, you know, join our class coming from another center and uh -huh. already got 90 in speaking. Uh -huh. yeah. And then they ask me, oh, should I switch to your template or can I still use mine? And I always tell them, no, just, just, just keep whatever you've been using because obviously you already got 90. So it yeah. works. So yeah. it doesn't really matter if you switch to ours or not, because right. uh, just use whatever works for you. And already, and you saw that you already got 90. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The template itself, I, I don't know if you, if you. Um... Thank you, Sonny. Thank you for, for, no. all, for all your insights. It's been very helpful. And we will wait for your other experiments.
to oh, confirm, yeah, especially for right from dictation. But thank you so much for to, you're to, welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, for joining in. Um, uh, and if anyone has other questions, feel free to comment below so that in the next video we can look at them and answer those questions for you. Thank you guys. Thank you for guys. Okay, bye.